Will for Sound on Sound here at Music Messer 2017, looking at the new Type 20 uh, near midfield monitors from Head Audio. And here is Klaus Heinz, who's going to tell us a little bit more. So Klaus, what is the story behind the Type 20? Well, first of all, I would like to say yes. I'm Klaus Heinz. I'm founder and CEO at uh, Head Audio. And uh, we are in active studio monitors, as you may know. And our new model for the show is called Type 20. And it is our approach to have the most compact solution with no compromise. Perhaps this one compromise in maximum SPL, but this monitor starts with a minus 3 dB point in the base at 32 Hz, which is really very low. And you have a similar construction for the rest of our type 30, which might be known already here or there. And we have three times 300 watt amplifiers. We have a new developed woofer with the most rigid and stiff uh, cone that you can imagine. Compared to other honeycomb corn, this is an integer factor that we could improve the so-called mo uh, Young's modulus, the stiffness of the thing. And we believe in the clarity and effortless uh, reproduction of hard codes. That's philosophical, yes, but maybe true nevertheless. <laughs> so how are you making the cone then? What's the, what, what's the secret? We found a material and somebody in Ta Taiwan could, made, could make cones out of it and then like it is normal in these days in China, it is made, uh, put together as an excellent drive unit with a two inch voice call, with very good dynamical behavior that one, as per today, can determine. Many good manufacturers in China have clipple systems where you really can determine the dynamical behavior of the unit you have. And this is a ground, it's a new unit from ground from last year that I did together with a qualified manufacturer. Yeah. Okay. The same is true for the mid range. The mid-range has a very big voice call of 1.2, uh, one and a quarter voice, uh, inch voice call, which is really unusual. It is good for the power and the high dynamic in the mid-range. This is the air motion transformer that I started uh, with at Adam once upon a time. And this is a new evolution form of it. It's not a huge difference, but what, we, what I experienced as a critic during my Adam time sometimes was that the high frequencies were too separate from the whole thing. And the effort here is to integrate it better into the sound of the whole loudspeaker. If that is uh, successful or not, it's something you please have to and, find out. And how are you aiming to do that? How are you aiming to integrate it? By lowering the crossover frequency. That is, uh, if you have a higher crossover frequency and the woofer has to do, or the mid-range to do more job, then the dispersion characteristics gets in quiet uh, and, and more nervous. That's one of the explanations I have, but the general experiences have lower crossover frequencies to have a better overall sound. That's what I swear is true. <laughs> okay, and in terms of room correction, um, DSP or anything like that, is any of that on board? It is a very uh, good question, and we are convinced that this is a better solution. I hope in like four or six weeks I have a bigger article in our blog ready with the headline to DSP or not to DSP. That is here the question because there are many aspects as uh, possible answers. And um, we have a totally analog uh, monitor. On the back side, we have the so-called head bridge, um, which is a card system where you can connect each and every digital uh, source. Of course, we have to be ready for digital sources. But all the amplifiers, the filtering is made analog from good reasons, and I hope I can offer this article in quite a few weeks only. Okay, so how much is this going to cost then, and when will it be available? It is priced in, uh, in the Europe street price, if you would call it, if you uh, can name it that way, is like 1850, 1900 euros a piece. And the availability is unfortunately late May, June only. It's a first ready loudspeaker and we need to start production. Last but least, we wanted to collect the numbers from the show. Okay, thanks very much, Klaus. Thank you.